Hey guys, boy, it's good to be back in a Springbok jersey. I've had a lot of people asking me what's going on with the Super Rugby competition in South Africa, what's going to happen with the Rugby Championship, all that stuff. Truth is, there's a lot of rumors still scattered about. There's not a lot of truths yet, a lot of set in stone stuff happening in South Africa at the moment. But I decided it's time for me just to tell you all the rumors, all the stuff that is happening or talked about in the media at the moment. Uh, and the stuff that is more or less likely to happen uh, that I've read in a couple of places at the moment. So today I'm going to be talking about the Super Rugby slash Curry Cup, what's going to happen before the competition and then the Rugby Championship as well. So first thing, the Super Rugby slash Curry Cup. Yes, it is a slash because we don't know which competition it is yet. That's one of the big issues at the moment, why we haven't heard a lot about it yet, because uh, the sponsorship deal is a problem at the moment. Is it going to be a Super Rugby that is sponsored by Vodacom? Is it going to be Curry Cup, which is sponsored by Black Labels? All that type of stuff is going to happen. Which thing is going to come on the arm? What is going to be at the bottom of the screen? All that stuff is at the end. And then obviously what prize money is up for grabs at the end of the day. So that type of stuff is a problem at the moment. It is set for 10 October to 16 January. So we have that. It is seven teams between the Bulls, the Lions, the Sharks, the Stormers of the Super Rugby, then the Cheetahs of the Pro 14, and then the Griquas and the Pumas for guys that probably don't know them from overseas. It's pretty good teams to look, uh, to look out for. A lot of our Springboks have come from those teams before. One of the things that are being reported is a two-log system where basically the Super Rugby teams are on two logs. Every time they play against each other, the, the log points do go onto the... Super Rugby log as well and then the winner or the top team at that on that log at the end of the day will win the competition just like in the Aotearoa season in New Zealand not with a semi-final and that, that type of stuff in Australia. Before the competition though they are talking about a superhero Sunday that's kind of been the thing for the last two years and just before the Super Rugby competition starts off the Super Rugby franchises do play one weekend against each other it's usually actually just for financial gain they do market it as a pre-season match for guys who get game time that type of stuff so probably good in this situation for that as well it is for 26 september and then they're also talking this is a big big if it's a big rumor also a north south derby like in new zealand uh, which is probably going to be more of a coastal versus inland team with the sharks and stormers versus the likes of the Bulls and the Lions and maybe the Cheetahs for the 26th of September. So after that Super Rugby game, after that Super Heroes Sunday game, or on the 3rd of October, just the weekend after that. And that's just in time because the weekend after that, the 10th of the October, is that Curry Cup Super Rugby kickoff. Then we get to the Rugby Championship. There's a lot of speculation with this as well. We don't know if the box are actually going to play there, but we know the competition is confirmed for the 7th of November to the 12th of December. It is going to be played in Australia, not New Zealand, like it's been talked about for the last couple of months. So it gives you an idea of how quickly these rumors can change. The big talks at the moment are that we are going to send a younger team. The box are going to send a younger team uh, with Lukanya Um being the captain of the side. And this is because the team is probably going to be ill-prepared to uh, actually face the likes of the All Blacks and the Australians who've been playing for a couple of months now. And the main thing for this is to create squad depth at the end of the day for that British and Irish Lions competition or tour at, uh, that's played next year in South Africa. But I know they want to send the box over there because of the financial impact and the financial gain for the box at the end of the day. At the end of the day and for the South African rugby um, if they do go there and play so that's why they want to send them there I don't think it's a good idea for them to go there we will probably not do too well but it's good to get that squad depth get some players that could maybe put their hands up for the British and Irish tour so you might miss some of the younger guys in the curry cup slash super rugby but the big Springboks will be playing in that competition the financial gain of it, it is important, it is a professional sport, we need that money always in South Africa, so 
we will probably send someone to the super rugby or to the rugby championship but the big thing blocking it at the moment is the restriction on international travel and international sporting events in south africa so if we do lo move to lockdown level one which is talked about at the moment i think we'll probably go into that sometime soon i don't know i'm not a politician it's just what i'm hearing we'll probably move into that sometime and then the box will probably be able to go there. I don't know. Would be good for the financial impact. Would be good to get that squad depth. Won't be great to be smashed by the All Blacks like 50 to 3. But hey, it's good to get that squad depth and actually go to the British and Irish Lions game games prepared. Because they have also started playing now in Europe. So South Africa is basically the only country that's really not playing rugby at the moment. Guys, that's the news at the moment. Not a lot of set in stone stuff. Most of the dates are prepared. The Super Rugby slash Curry Cup, that's also prepared. We just don't know what to call it at the moment. The Rugby Championship, we know we will watch it. We just don't know if the box will play there. I do think we will watch the Super Hero Sunday. Don't know so much about the North South Derby. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button. And then I'll see you for the next one. Cheers.